Solomon Islands Parliament has voted for a controversial law to amend its constitution and delay elections until 2024. Prime Minister Manasse Sogavare has again accused Australia of political meddling. He says he'll lodge a diplomatic protest, but still intends on taking up Australia's offer to help pay for the poll. Work on Solomon Island's biggest infrastructure project in its history continues as a political and diplomatic storm rages at Parliament House. The preparations for the Pacific Games next November, the pretext for Prime Minister Manasseh Sogavare to amend the constitution and delay elections from next May until 2024. We cannot successfully host the national general elections and the Pacific Games in the same year while our economy is still recovering from the, from the impacts of COVID-19 and the damage caused by public unrest. Last year, Honiara burned in the worst rioting in years against the Prime Minister. The Pacific Games will cost hundreds of millions of dollars and China is largely building the necessary infrastructure. On Tuesday, Australia offered the impoverished nation election funding help. The announcement by the Australian Foreign Affairs Minister is seen by the government of Solomon Islands as an attempt to directly interfere, Mr Speaker, into our domestic affairs, especially when this is a matter that is before this very House, Mr Speaker. The government will be making diplomatic representation in due course, sir. Bilateral relations are already on edge over a controversial security deal Mr Sogavare signed with China earlier this year. Australia's Foreign Minister today defending her government's approach. We, we will engage as in the way we consider as the Government of Australia most appropriate for Australia's national interests with the Government of the Solomon Islands. Mr Sogavare has a two-thirds majority in Parliament and denies the election delay is a power grab. We have the numbers. We have the numbers to do this. But the opposition says the electoral process has been hijacked. This, sir, is blackmail of the people of this country and their parliament. It is part of a scheme to place parliament in a no-option position. And Mr Sogavare expects Australia to still fund the poll. So you offer, you must pre prepare for giving come and you tell them you want to offer come, Mr Speaker. It's a message he'll be able to deliver personally when he visits Canberra in the coming weeks. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.